21 laid the ground for the start of this process. 24 will take it further and we will go into coalition governments. Now the question is, how do you do that? How do you form these coalitions? Sometimes people think coalitions are there just to negotiate positions. I can give you a guarantee those coalitions will fail. They will get nowhere. There's a huge theory behind how you're supposed to do this. You go into a coalition, and the parties that want to form a coalition at least would have certain things in common. They negotiate from their manifestos a compromise, and that compromise forms a new agreed coalition manifesto. And that coalition government then tries to govern for the next five years in terms of the compromise agreed manifesto. That's what it's supposed to be. The multi-party charter is not a coalition. It's a pre-election agreement between some serious role players. And that multi-party agreement basically does have a united vision. It does have identified certain priorities. It does have in common certain principles. And interesting, if we talk about a government of national unity, it could become complicated because there's a clause in the agreement, I think it's clause 7, that says the parties that signed the multi-party charter agreement undertake to each other that none of us will vote for any candidate being put up by the ANC after the election. So, where are we going with that? But we'll get to that situation. So now we have a multi-party charter. <clears throat> and let me be frank. Any political party that comes to you and say, only us, or we are the strongest, or we can defeat the ANC, don't believe that. It's not true. It's not going to happen. No single party is going to defeat the ANC at the polls. It's not going to happen. What can happen is a coalition of parties that work together and combine and form a government afterwards. And that's what we need to do. That's the way out and that's the way forward. And I say sometimes, I believe the multi-party charter could be a coalition of the good people in South Africa. Because we've got certain things in common, certain values in common, certain visions in common, etc., etc. 